Hello viewers, hope you're doing well. Today in this video, I'm going to create an update task API in Spring Boot. So let's get started. You can see here the admin service. I'm going to create here the method in this interface. So the return type of this method, that is a task DTO. Name of the method, that is a date task. In the argument, it will receive an ID, that is a type of a long. And second, it will receive a task DTO object. Let's go to admin service simple and I'm going to implement this method that is a update task. Inside this, I'm going to call a query from the task repository that is a find by ID. So let me get here the object of the optional task and it will be a optional task. Let me call here the task repository and the query that is a find by ID. Inside the parenthesis, I'm going to pass here the ID that we are getting in the argument after this i'm going to add here the condition where we need to check if the optional task is present then we have to move in the if block otherwise we will return here the null in this i'm going to create here the object of the task entity that is a existing task and here i'm going to assign the optional task dot get after this i'm going to set here the updated task details so it will be a existing task dot set title we will get title from the task DTO. So it will be a task DTO dot get title. After this, I'm going to set here the description and we will get description from the task DTO dot get description. Let me set here the due date and we will get due date from the task DTO dot get due date. Let me set here the priority and we'll get from the task DTO that is a task DTO dot get priority. I'm going to create a method that is a map string to task status. So it will be a private and the return type of this method that is a task status name of the method that is a map string to task status. Inside this argument, it will receive a status that is a type of a string. So here's the variable name that is a status and I'm going to add here the switch case inside the argument. I'm going to pass here the status that we are getting in the argument. Let me match here the case if the case is pending. Then we have to return the task status that is a dot pending. Let me add here the return. Let me duplicate this line. If the case is in progress, then we have to return the status that is a task status dot in progress. If the case is completed, then we have to return the status that is a task status dot completed. And the last case we have that is a deferred. So let me return here the status that is a task status dot deferred. At the last, we have a default. In this, I'm going to return here the task status dot cancelled. So let me set here the task status. And inside this, we have to call this method that is a map string to task status. Inside the argument, we need to pass here the string value of the task status. So it will be a task DTO dot get task status. Let me wrap this with the string value. After this, I'm going to call a query from the task repository that is a save. Inside this, we have to pass here the object that is a existing task dot get task DTO and it will be a return. Now you can take a look of the update task method in the admin service simple. Let's go to admin controller and here I'm going to create a method to call the method from the admin service that is a public. Let me add in the response entity and here I'm going to add the question mark name of the method that is a update task inside the argument i'm going to add here the notation that is at the rate path variable to get the id from the url so it will be a type of a long name of the variable that is the id after that i'm going to add here the notation that is at the rate request body to get the payload of the endpoint so it will be a task dto object inside this i'm going to call a method from the admin service that is a update task and we have to pass here the id and the task DTO object. Let me create here the object of the task DTO to save the response of the method and it will be an updated task. And here I'm going to add the condition where we need to check if the updated task is equal is equals to null. Then we have to return the response that is a response entity dot not found dot build. Otherwise I'm going to return here the response that is a response entity dot okay. And inside this I'm going to pass here the object that is an updated task. On the top, I'm going to add here the annotation that is at the rate put mapping to access this endpoint. So the URL is slash task slash ID. So let me wrap the ID with the curly braces because we have to get the actual value of the ID. Let's run the Spring Boot application. Let's go to the MySQL database. Let me refresh the task table. You can see here the task with the ID one. I'm going to update this task. So let's go to the postman. You can see here the URL of the endpoint that is a slash API slash admin slash task. After the slash, we have ID that is a one. 
as you can see the mapping that is a put and inside the body we have a updated task details in the type of a json with the title description due date priority and the task status as you can see our spring boot application started successfully let's go to the application tab in the inspect and i'm going to copy the token let's navigate to postman in the authorization tab i'm going to select here the barrier token from the drop down inside this input i'm going to add here the token of the logged in admin as you can see the status that is a 200 okay and in the response we are getting here the updated task let's go to the browser let me refresh the dashboard page as you can see we are getting here the updated task that's all for now from my side if you have any confusion you can do comment thanks for watching take care bye